The House of Representatives Committee on Emergency and Disaster Management, following a motion from one of the lawmakers last year on the need to investigate the federal government's social investment program, met with the Minister for Humanitarian Affairs and the head of the various empowerment schemes under her ministry. According to the power given to this House in sub subsection uh, 88 and 89 of the Federal Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that there will be need for us to investigate uh, how much so far have we invested in this program? Are we doing well? Does it really worth it? Then what are the uh, essence of this program? Can we justify the program? And also, most of this uh, youth, they have been disengaged, most importantly, disengaged. And some of them are still going to work at their place of primary assignment, and they have not been paid their stipend. At the time, at the cut-off date, on the 15th of every month, we cut off payroll. By cutting off payroll, we say, okay, these are the people that are working. We expect everybody to work. The only people that we do not put in payroll are those who want we have gotten reports from the states uh, that they do not go to work. This is a project that uh, the government has put in place to alleviate poverty. Yeah. And uh, we shouldn't allow it to die. So if we are getting complaints here and there, be prepared that those people will be invited and they will come and say one or, one or two things. Those that have been old and those that have no problem. The committee also sought to know the financial and remuneration status of the newly created Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. So those working in the ministry have not received their salaries till now. The ministry is not responsible of paying salaries. No, what I'm asking is that they have not been paid of we either impress not, or whatever. The ministry is not responsible for payment of salaries what of, of the staff. We don't pay salaries of staff. What of impress, honorable minister? What? What of what? I mean, Excuse me, please. Uh, I didn't hear stipends. Uh, what did you I do? said for the ministry. Yes. The impress for ministry, they don't, they don't, they don't get. We have not received any impress. Really so no ministry. money has been spent. No money has come to the ministry. But for this purpose, for this program, the money is there already. No, no, you is, don't understand what I'm. It has been approved. Honorable already. minister, yes. honorable minister, what I'm asking is very simple. So you have not been spending money since you resume in that office. We have not received money since. You have we not resume. been spending money. We well, I have approved what came to my desk. So what I have is approved stopping? And I passed it to the permanent what secretary. Is I was trying to explain to you, a permanent secretary has just uh, resumed. And he had to also understand before you also... Uh, when did, you pass, it own, to, when did you, know, you pass it to the uh, PS? He didn't sleep one day on my desk. So what else do you want to do? Are you going to pay them? We have approved this. this when this are you paying issue, them their stipends Mr. now? Mr. Chairman, this issue came up about two weeks ago or so. I don't think the empire people will still come out and say that we're not processing No, no, what I'm payments. asking is, when are you paying them now? We have paid them as far as we are concerned. You I have paid approved. them? The permanent secretary is here. I let him speak if he has... Uh, permanent uh, secretary, paid. please. I want to say that uh, there are many steps, there are processes, you know, for the payments. But there is no request for payments to the end power beneficiaries. We've paid them. So, you know, there are processes, you know, that... You have place. paid them? Yes. Okay. I have no doubt. We are going to dig deeper to ensure that it's a false accusation.